Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2021 video tutorial. It's one of my basic exercises, which I usually do in my trainings, but this one has been missing on my channel. So I decided to fill in those blanks. Quite simple exercise. Let's have some fun. So let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. And this one might look something like this. Try to snap here and then go for close. Okay, if you want to make a revolve, you should define the rotational axis in the sketch. So therefore select this one and make it a center line. Now let's add some dimensions. This would be 60. And that distance would be 60 as well. And if you have a center line, you can, you can do that diameter dimension. 60. Well, this one would be 50. That length here should be 20. And this one should be 30. Now, the last step would be to make this point and that projection here coincident. Finish that sketch. That's the only available sketch in the part. So if you go for a revolve, it will be recognized and the center line will be recognized. And I want to go for 360 degrees and confirm. Now I want to make another revolve, but I want to cut something. So let's do another sketch on the XY plane. Cut the graphics in order to see your sketch. Otherwise, it will be concealed by the material, which is in between the sketch plane and you. So let's draw this over here. And this might look something like that. Again, close. Again, convert this line to a center line. Then add dimensions. This would be 60. That distance would be 30. And this one should be 40. Again, add one constraint between this projected origin point and that point here. It's full constraint, finish that sketch. And again, it's the only available sketch right now in that part. So if you go for revolve, it will be recognized and also the center line. And I want to cut and confirm. Next step, another revolve. So again, go for a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Again, cut the graphics. This will be a rectangle. And dimensions should be, no, that's not necessary because I want to have the diameter. That would be again a center line, then this dimension should be 60. This one would be 15. And this should be 60. And then align this point with that one here. Finish that sketch. Let's go for another revolve. 
and it should be symmetric and I want to go for 90 degrees and confirm and this happens I want to cut and confirm now I can't do that remove with the same sketch on the other side in Inventor so I want to mirror it so let's go for a mirror and I want to mirror that element mirror this element here that feature and the mirror plane would be the Y set plane this one and confirm next I need an extrude on the set X plane so this one here cut the graphics and that will be a rectangle and please take note horizontal and vertical are switched so this will be 18 and that would be 8 now let's align that midpoint here with that projected origin finish that sketch let's make an extrude and cut sometimes it's recognized sometimes not but doesn't matter and I want to go through all and confirm now let's do the chamfers they are symmetric so I can do them all in one that would be distance two millimeter yes on this edge that edge and this one here and confirm finally I want to make a hole you can do it with a sketch and a circle you can add a plane tangent to that surface parallel to the XY plane and put there a circle or you could draw on the Y set plane a rectangle revolve and cut it I want to do it with a 3D sketch, a point and a hole. So therefore I need a 3D sketch to define that point. Now to get to the point, select point, then activate that precise input. And the coordinates are x is 0, y is 12, and set is 25 and then enter use the tab key to jump from field to field and then use enter and you will get a point right there now finish that sketch in order to use the whole feature I need to put a work point onto that 2d sketch point or 3d sketch point so let's go for a point select this one and now we should be able to use that whole tool so go for hole, select that point here. It will need a direction. The direction would be the set axis. It should be a simple hole and I want to go to that surface here. Maybe a flat bottom, doesn't really matter. And the diameter should be 8 millimeters. And confirm. And I'm done. So hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.